And last Tuesday, I met a woman who just shone like an angel. You may have already seen my News Hub investigation about how destructive methamphetamine is. Well, this woman, Robin Duncan, gave me hope. She really was an angel in the darkness of methamphetamine. Paddy, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Robin Duncan has spent 25 years looking after the people the rest of us have given up on. One thing I've learned in my life, everyone loves to be loved. Yeah. And I know that. I've been hurt in my life and I've come through my life not felt loved. And that's why I love to be able to help others. It is fair to say she's saved dozens of lives, including several around this table. I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't. I know for a fact that I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for Robin. Yeah, me too. Robin set up this support group in Fielding almost a year ago. Hi, I'm the mum of the group, and I'm addicted to naughty f <laughs> 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 And that is a fact. I am, I cannot help myself. It's not easy work. This job can be a very thankless job until I see results like this, and it's amazing. For her, this isn't just a nine to five. She takes people home. I sold my house. I made my partner sell our house so I couldn't take anyone to house. We <laughs> bought a caravan and I was gonna get them in living in there. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, we got rid of the caravan, we got another house, and now I'm taking it home again. So I'm addicted, I can't help myself, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one example of one woman in one town doing something practical to rid the place of pee. I look at all these people and think, wow. And if I can keep them on the straight and narrow, that's exactly what I'll do. To see them now is, is, is worth a million dollars. And that's why she does it. She knows full well the cost that meth has on the community. It's a huge cost involved. And yet we've got these people making millions of dollars out of it. And yet groups like this can't even get a few bucks to run. How bloody ridiculous is that? Should courses like this be government funded and in every town and city in New Zealand? Absolutely. What, what would we achieve as a country if we had this? We would achieve seeing some really good results, but it would also slow down the meth, the meth dealers. Because the more people we get in here and get clean, the less people that are going to buy it. How good is that? It's bloody amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you reckon, Betty?